Do you think I need to go and paint that yellow BR, bro? Arms out to your mum's house. 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 Episode 64 in the Dangle Dance. Six one will tell all your of your piece. enemy and your friend. Arms house in your mum's house back again. And it's. Oh, bring arms out to your mum's house! Bitch. And it goes. Big yes, up everybody, yes. this is episode 64 of Arms House to Your Mum's House. How yeah. are you doing, Maddie? Do you know what I was just doing? Do you know what, what I was just fucking doing five seconds before the fucking pod? Having a wank. Going through the bin. <laughs> almost, bruv. Almost. Yeah. Going through the bin to find a little fucking metal, like, whatever it was. A little fucking metal bit to fix a <laughs> pair of nail clippers. Because it's the, is this, the, here they are, here the fuckers. This little bit. Jesus, here. those those are big nail these clippers, are for, man. These are, f- mate. Do you know how long I've had black toenails? <laughs> Bruh, this is the thing. I can send. I'll send the podcast bare photos of black toenails because of uh, football. I've oh. never got normal toenails. Jeez. For years and years, because bro, when that happens, when you get stamped on, your toenail goes black. It doesn't just fall off, oh. but the underneath grows out, so you have to wait for a whole nail. To come up. Disgusting. Now, when we was at my wedding on the beach, I had about the whole, all of my feet were just black. All the toes are black. And all <laughs> of the girl, they loved it. I didn't do it. I wasn't checking out. They were calling out. black toe. I wasn't checking out your toes, man, when we were on <laughs> the beach. You say, what's on black toe? I'm absolutely hurting all over, man. I painted yesterday. Um, and man, I just I didn't stretch. I like that's my first painting of the year, and I'm just my legs are just fucked, man. Was it, was it your first time painting without stretching? You're kind of you're kind of pointing out that you didn't stretch. <laughs> well, I never stretch. You usually get to, get, get a stretch in before painting. <laughs> no, I don't. But I should start, man. Fucking hell, I'm in that much pain right now. It's like I played ninety minutes from what crouching and like painting the bottom bits just, and shit. Yeah, exactly. You know, just well being on my feet you know, all day and, and just, yeah, crouching down, standing up, crouching down. Just my legs are just fucked, man. It's not good. Mav, it's not good. You got to do stuff. Listen, your body gotta... is rotting away. I know. I know. That's what it is at our age. It's just doing nothing else. We're losing everything. You lose muscle mass, bone density, red blood cell, I refuse. fucking everything. <laughs> you lose everything. Bro. You got to keep it up as much as you can naturally from doing stuff but you oh, have man. to do that yeah i know man i gotta get on it man i'm fucking i never ex literally never exercise man never never because it's a difficult thing to do it's like hard it's annoying it's bright it gets in the way that's why you gotta do it that's I why you start, gotta do it but i, I don't want to go to the gym i don't like the gym man I want to play a sport do some sort or do of like a, a martial art or, or just go for a run or something. I might just start running, man. Fuck it. Start off slow and then just Running's go for gross. a run. Don't do running. It's got nothing. You've, have you seen like people who run a lot? They get like tight, wrinkled, old faces. It looks like it's matured too much, too skinny, too like. I'm, yeah, I'm not going to run like, in fucking like, Arctic winds and shit. Yeah, like you will. You'll be running <laughs> outside. Wind, if you get bro. into running, you'll be running fucking. You know what I mean? Getting it. You're like, theme. I'm going to do the half marathon in a Eden Park. <laughs> that, <laughs> I'll never be that dude, man. I'll never be that guy. I'm taking my creatine and my protein. I'm doing everything. <laughs> you know? Now you've got to do some sort of resistance training. You can look at photos there of people who fall over and get injuries. So yeah. basically, like seventy-five and up. That sort of age, yeah. You can fall over and get an injury. When you look at the the scan of the difference between someone who works out at that age and someone who doesn't, working out is is weight uh, resistance, some mm. form of weight. As long as it's a little bit of weight resistance, the bone density is much thicker. The muscle around it is still protecting it more. It's completely different compared to someone who doesn't do anything. You basically hollow out, like you completely hollow out. You lose Jeez. everything. Bone density, bone mass, structure, blood in your vet, everything, because your body doesn't need it. Your mm. body's saying to you, why, why am I going to do that? I'm going to give you the body that needs to do what you do, or what you do, or what you do, what you do, whatever it is. And if you're doing something tough, your body will say, fuck me, I've got to give this guy something that can put up with this shit. Mm. That's it. But when you get yeah. old, you have nothing, bruv. Bro, Press-ups I'm- at home, bruv. 
and stuff can, like that. Press There's resistance. Ups. Yeah. Oh man, I can't even remember last time I even attempted exactly, a press exactly. up. Exactly. <laughs> you could well, if we could do it on the arms house. You could set yourself, yeah. <laughs> Like this week you're doing 20 press ups, you know, 10 press ups a day, but but 10 press ups a day, but have you done 200 press ups easily by the next day? I don't think I can do 10 press ups, mate. Of course you think, could. I don't you think used to I... be Tonk. That's the other thing as well. You used to be Tonk. Well, you used to be physically, athletically fit. I'm still Tonk, bruv. No, I'm not Tonk at all. You're, at, <laughs> you're not Tonk at all, bruv. <laughs> oh, mate. Um, no, but you used to be really athletic and shit. Yeah. I still think I am athletic, but it's just my my, 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 my health. My health. I still think I am athletic, but I've done nothing athletic to see if that's true. So when you actually do something that you will say, that's what our brains do, bruv. Mm. Still, when I'm playing football now, my brain says, I'm going to go like here, go like there, and I'm turning back. It can't do it anymore. No. Yeah. Your brain still does it, but your body's like, ooh, much slower. Oh, fuck. Yeah, fucked it up. It's gone. Well, I can see that now, man. I, I just painted a piece. It wasn't even like a crazy piece. It was only a few hours and I'm fucking <laughs> feeling it now, man. Like just standing up is fucking painful. Bro, but you're man. just painting. Your heart man. rate's not really that up. You're inhaling no, fumes instead. I'm smoking all the time. Yo, I'm probably one of the most unhealthiest people you know, man. And we know some unhealthy motherfuckers. Nah, I can't be the unhealthiest, man. There's, there's no some near. fuckers. There no way some near. Fuckers. Touch wood, man. I'm all right. But yeah, I definitely that would need to be start brilliant. doing something. Arms house start. Then by next week, yeah. you've done uh, 50 press-ups. So just 10 press-ups, not even for the full week. 10 press-ups a day. Mm. You've done 50. Okay. Yeah, okay, I promise. By next episode, man. <laughs> so not gonna do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Because the thing is, I've been doing... You film it. Since... You have to film it if you take a picture like to show that you've done it with like the newspaper of that day. <laughs> like something. <laughs> and then next time, so you just post the five pics. Bap, 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 bap. No, nah, people, amazing. people listening, they don't give a shit about me doing fucking push-ups, man. They do, because they know when you should die. No, no, it's not. I'll tell you what, I got sciatica in my back, yeah, a couple times now. It's fucked with me. So I do a little bit of exercises, like, on the floor, just, like, kind of, just back strength type stuff. Just, like, kind of yeah, bending and shit. lifting you legs. do yoga. Shit. Yoga, I know, is is good thing, but... Uh, I yeah, do yoga now, overlooking the views of the A40s. It's fucking wonderful, you know. Absolutely blinded. Fucking rank. Yeah. Yeah. Yoga over the A40, breathing all the pollution. I'm just much more rather like play a sport, man. You know? Just, you uh, can't play sports, bruv. I can't. Let me tell you, you can't play sports now. You don't okay. understand how much is changed. When I go to play sports, bruv, I'm getting dunked on by like 21-year-old Yeah, but kids. it's not about get, getting dunked on, not getting dunked on. It's playing the sport, getting up, being active, yeah, and Yeah, but you don't get laid on the team. Like, you're, trying to get, you're trying to get a bring in. So they're like, yo, the white dude's shit and old and grey. That's what they think. Well, whatever. I'm going to join the football's shitty Football's the only team. game I can, just, I can still manage. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay, but cool. fuck me. Well, look, this, we're recording this on Sunday, but it comes out on Wednesday. And Wednesday, to my knowledge, is Jay Diller Day. So Diller Day. I've, got a, I've got one of my favorite Jay Diller Thank tracks you. here when he was in Slum Village. Well, rest in peace, Jay Diller first. He's a producer. We, we've spoken about him before. But anyway, I want to play this tune, I Don't Know, from Sub Slum Village album, Fantastic Volume 2, I think it was. Let's just check it out and then... Uh, We'll I love the way you parred him off. Yeah, We've I'm talked about finished. Jay Diller before. We're not going to talk about him again. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, yeah. Know. I don't know why the fuck I'm fucking with you. I don't know, I don't know why the fuck I'm fucking with you. I don't See, I don't know why the fuck I'm fucking with you. I don't See, I don't know why the fuck I'm fucking with you. You, you, could ask my man T. Three, I ain't the one. to be. Play like the niggas that you used to play for money and no time for acting. Okay. With me, you best believe that you won't. Do it. I'm influenced to like, um, you know, and then I pick up the phone, shit. I don't know. She wants my cash flow, yeah. says, my loot is usual, but I can't say it's him too. To all my ladies in the place, I mean, your whole crew is like, yeah. you know, the S is my crew, we bro. You know. We got a whole flock of niggas with locks, you know. But I don't know why I'm fucking with you. I don't know why the fuck I'm fucking with you. I don't know why the fuck I'm fucking with you. I don't know why the fuck I'm fucking with you. I don't know why the fuck I'm fucking with you. I don't know why. It's like, you know your scanners as hell. Yeah, 
can tell from your nails to the Chanel. Say, whatever you do it, you're doing it well. You're trying in my man, I'll too. Wait for you, should do the things you do, but you constantly do. Also, you love to. See, I'm gonna get with you so we can. And if you don't know, your shit is crucial to all my I love that bit, man. Oh, it's so ill how he puts all the James Brown cuts all in All the there. little bits in. So ill, man. Just like, that's just What's it great. Called? It's called I Don't Know by Slum Village. That's uh, Slum Village. Let me remember who's in it. Obviously, Jay Diller. I was listening to them today. Oh, to my God. How have I forgotten their names, man? Oh, anyway, Pond Slum Village. <laughs> anyway, yeah. <laughs> Pond Slum Village. I can't believe I forgot <laughs> their names. We were in denim and you can't get the denim in. All that rhyming was decent. I can't forget that tune either. Fuck. Wait, but listen. Mm. Mm. You were telling a story last week, and I was yeah. feeling left out because I have I can't remember any stories. And this week I've remembered like a few stories. Ooh! I can't remember what Amsterdam story I told last time. You said about the cool t- girl from that porn website. Oh yeah, the cool, the receptionist part yeah. of the cool girl <laughs> thing. Yeah, 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 that was. True. You said you had another story, but I told you to allow it because we, you know, we'd already. But I was chatting out. to my brother. My brother is in Florida, yeah, and I've mm. spoken to him for a while. I was chatting to my brother. And he reminded me of this this fucking story. Yeah, he used to have a Peugeot two hundred six, yeah, silver. Yeah. Uh, and so did my friend Pat. Yeah, me and Pat were like we met together when we were like mad nuts, like just completely snowboarding all the time. Basically, basically living in France, just constantly in France. Trying mm-hmm. to like be snowboarders, basically <laughs> a couple of dicks. It's getting fucked all yeah. the time. And uh, <laughs> where in France would you go? Chamonix? No, no. But with him, he had a house there, bro. I was there like all the time. So oh, it, it wasn't in the Alps. It was in the Pyrenees, yeah, in the Pyrenees. Pyrenees. Okay. And uh, it was, it was, you know, it's nowhere near as big. It's not. That's a, that's a big part of this story. Actually, it's nowhere near as big. Like, there's nowhere near as many people as going to the Alps and Val d'Isere and the Three Valleys and all that. There's nowhere near. Mm. Yeah. And uh, <coughs> we together all the time. We got really good at snowboarding and very, very had a, had a great time. One time we were there. My brother had just hooked up with this new this new girl, and he just passed his driving test and shit. And he was um, driving this Peugeot Silver 206, yeah? Mm-hmm. And they all looked exactly the same. And this geezer, Pat, he had one as well. And it was an English one, but we had it in France. Like all the, the steering wheels on the, the, the correct side, do you know what I mean? Like all mm-hmm. that shit. And uh, we went, um, we got absolutely fucking smashed, yeah? And it's in the middle of nowhere, bruv. So if you want to get up to like a ski lift, you have to go up quite high. Do you know what I mean? You can't just like go down to the ski resort. You have to like get up quite high. So you have to drive up and up and up and up. We got uh, very, very drunk and we decided to go like night, night ski, night riding. Mm-hmm. And went fucking all the way up to the top. Yeah, completely fucked. This is in the mountains where there's nothing. There's no like fence. It's not like a tourist resort. It's nothing. It's oh, the Pyrenees true. Mountains. Yeah? You just got to go. And we went up to this tiny, 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 uh, ski resort called Autocam. You're like, right, just go up to Autocam, just go up to Autocam. Yeah, we'll go up there and then we'll fucking like walk up mountains and shit and like snowball all the way back down to the house, right, right, right. Mm. like flying off the roofs and shit because they're covered in snow. You know what I mean? It was going to be good. Hold, hold on, theme. Can you hear drilling next door? Oh, stop now. It's next door there. Sorry to interrupt. Continue, man. If you can't hear it, then fuck it. I can't hear it. Okay. So anyway, we got absolutely battered. And this we thought this was a good plan. And there was two birds there, yeah. His missus, mm. who was like a royal connection to some to the Madrid uh royal family here in Spain. Damn. She was called Mercedes. Like, <laughs> Mercedes. That's so Spanish. Yeah. yeah. She was this little bird that he'd linked and she was like mad rich and shit. Fucking ridiculous. Called Mercedes, 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 Garcia, Blendin. Like we went on for ages. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like the fucking queen of Madrid. And this other bird who was mad posh. Like mad posh. English posh. 
Yeah, mad yeah. English country kind of. I'm wearing wellies and going like that kind of like mad posh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and it's you, your brother, then, and your mate Pat. Yeah, no, my brother's not there. Oh, my brother just there. so okay. happens to be driving the same car, and he's linked this new missus. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. and it's she's a new miss. I've met her once. My brother's new missus, yeah, and mm-hmm. they're in London. Mm-hmm. They're in London. So we start driving up, where, and it's just complete eyes and rare. And we get to the top. We're like, this can't do this. Let's go back down. And Pat, who's completely fucked, and it's his, his, his dad's car, is doing the driving. So we, there's like a tiny car park at the top of this mountain, and everything's black. Like every, there's no yeah, lights, yeah. and there's no, no, it's like it's three in the morning. Do you know what I mean? And you're pissed. Like, I don't know if I should do this. No, it's really weird. You're absolutely battered. Oh battered. my God. Battered. They used to do these things in France called shotties. Like this thing shotty, when you feel like, like a bong, but it went like down really far. I don't know mm-hmm. what it is. You used to get battered off those, yeah. And lit off beers and alcohol and that. <laughs> anyway, paid, paid, the mountain's obviously much narrower and much thinner at the top, right? And much fatter at the bottom. We're at the very, very top where the car park is. We can't see the, the same way we came in. It's just like a square. There's like a bit of a blizzard. Do you know what I mean? Like, try and find the way out of the car park. Oh, but he true. doesn't and he just drives off the mountain. No. Just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember like, thinking, oh my days, because like, the, the car wasn't touching land and we're, and we're all going down like that. All the skis and the snowball went whoosh, 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 like, through the windscreen no and shit. No way. Because they were just in the middle here, like yeah, chilling yeah. here. And the two birds were just like this, you know what I mean, in the back. And there's me and Pat in the front. And they went whoosh, 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 like, all smashed through the windscreen. Fuck. Thinking, fucking hell, we are fucked. I'm just thinking snow this is going to slow us down, but it's going to come through the hole in the windscreen and we're just going to be like... <laughs> You literally went off a cliff like that. Off it. Jesus Christ. Because the, the, we're at the top of this car park. Yeah? The car park's flat like this. There's one entrance. Yeah, uh, yeah, One yeah. exit coming off, like just to go start going down. Mm. We couldn't find it. You literally so we just... thought we found it. And he was going quickly because he's pissed. And he's... Oh, my God. Mate. So, so we're absolutely fucked. But we all survive. Yeah. And the car is, we don't know because it's pitch black. We'll have driven off a mountain in the nighttime. <laughs> so we don't know what angle it is. We can't see shit. You know what I mean? It's trying to get get out of the car, get these birds out of the car. And then we're thinking, try and get this, find the skis or like, we'll try and get the snowboards. We can like sit them on our snowboards and try and like get down the mountain, mm. like basically bumboarding all the way down. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We're fucked. We're fucked, and we can't do it. And we have to walk them, like help these people, like, the birds. I mean, <laughs> these people <laughs> help these two young bird, bird birds who are completely, yeah, completely bizarre, like completely out of their wits of what the fuck's just I happened. Yeah. <laughs> Complete. This bird's like royal family from Spain, like connected to. Like she's mad posh when she speaks. And this other English birds, you know what I mean? Like some fucking trust fund bird is mental, like mental. And they are screaming and hollering, trying, trying to get down. We don't know if the way we're going down is on the right, like, until we hit, we just say we'll go down and eventually we'll hit a road. Because mm. we know the road goes all the way around the mountain at some point. Mm-hmm. If we get down low enough, we get to a fucking thing. We do that. <laughs> I don't remember how, but we must have bopped all the way back to the house. These birds like screwing up when they're going up to their waist, you know what I mean, in snow. Because we have to go off piece, just like walking down. Oh my God. <laughs> Fucking nightmare. And I had this mad snowboard, 600 pound Burton, Terje Hackens. I was like properly into snowboarding for a long time. As you know, I was like, that's what yeah. I was doing. And uh, I said, like, I'm not losing this fucking. So I had to carry, I carried my shit down as well. Got there. Next day, we're kind of not forgotten about it, but we're kind of like, fuck, yeah. Well, we're was not that a dream? Like, did yeah. you dream that? Well, no, not really. Like, yeah. we know we're going to be like, how are we going to get... This is all like farmer's land and shit. Yeah. So we don't know what the fuck. So his brother, his brother, Dan, big up Dan, he's got uh, like a Land Rover or something. We we borrowed that and we went, we started driving up. <laughs> we don't know what the fuck we're going to see. We don't know what the fuck's going on. Jeez. And uh, we've driven up to the top and trying to look for the car and the car is like properly comically like halfway down in completely in the middle of nowhere just trees and shit like that oh yeah that's it when you'll start driving up eventually you're going to the top of the mountain off one of the other mountains just like on the side it's just this silver Peugeot 206 <laughs> just hanging completely there, like. fucked <laughs> oh, like completely fucked right? Jeez. and 
it just so happens like from out of a gazillion and a bazillion chance yeah, that my brother's missus had gone on holiday with her parents to the Pyrenees yeah, for like mm. a skiing holiday. This bird I've met once in my life. I've got no idea. Like, you know, I thought she lived in Hammersmith. But that was it. That was it. That's all I knew about her. Yeah. She knew that I was out in the Pyrenees somewhere snowboarding. Yeah. She, she went, anyway, she went out with her family. She went to the same fucking mountain yeah, in the Pyrenees and did that same drive. Yeah. Oh, shit. And, uh, Got by the time she got to the certain point, saw like this silver Peugeot two hundred six. It's exactly the same as uh, Big Steve's car. Yeah. Yeah. Like, exactly the same. <laughs> she's thinking maybe he's come to link me or something like that. But and she's like talking to her parents like, um, isn't that? And she was quite posh as well. Yeah, isn't that like um. Look like Stephen's car, Donnie. <laughs> She's like, fucking hell, yeah, it does. Yeah. Like, it does. And there's no like English there. It's all like tractors and shit. And then there's suddenly like this fairly new, shiny, like yeah. 206, Pretty halfway good. down the mountain, like for full view of anyone who's driving these little roads. Yeah. Gee. So she bells my my mum and dad's house, bells my dad's house, yeah, mm-hmm. and says, uh, like, is, is Stephen at home? And then there's there like a Peugeot 206, like in the house. And then she's like, and they're like, yeah, 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 he's absolutely fine, absolutely fine. And something about, I can't remember what it was, but something about, like, oh, they know I'm there. And my dad's like, yeah, it's probably him anyway, like, tripping and driving. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. But the smallest of small worlds, because we was at a Christmas dinner, and one day this girl, I can't remember if it's her or her parents or whatever, was talking about this this story, like it was a story. So one time we were in the Pyrenees and we were driving in there and I was there, yeah? I was there. I never knew this bird had seen this or anything. This is another wow. gazillion and trazillion thing. Yeah? That's a crazy I was at this Christmas dinner and she starts like telling a story like you do at the table about this thing that happened. Yeah? This thing that happened was she went skiing on and she saw like this Persia tourist. It had obviously been fired and like driven right off a cliff in the, and it was in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of no- And I eventually picked up on it and said, yo, where was that? And she's like, yeah, in the Pyrenees. So, 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 my days. And I started asking her questions. So, and it was the same fucking, that's how I found out and shit like that. Oh like, my God. What the fuck is going on? That's a crazy coincidence. <laughs> So my dad found out that we did drive a car off the fucking mountain and he went <laughs> yeah. fucking militant. Like militant. But up till that point, I had it like, there was years later. Do you know what I mean? So you, you, how did you get the car off the, the cliff edge? We had to, we found like the one of those proper like fu- Pyrenees farmer geezers. With like a tractor or whatever they were. barely walked. understand like anything he says. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and he had like a snow, he had a snow plow. It was just, he was the snow plow geezer. Like, mm. up a, 3.30 in the morning, plowing the roads. And we found him and he pulled it out with his snowplow, reversed back and pulled it out and shit. And the car was fucked. Oh my fucked. God. And his, his, his dad wasn't in France. You know, he was in England. You know what I mean? We had to go and tell his dad. And then, and then. So you and couldn't get the car back? his dad and everything. No, it was fucked. Yeah, okay, yeah. I thought so, yeah. So we got it back onto that car park thing. But you just couldn't we'll drive it, it nothing. Yeah. It was just gone straight. No, we did drive it a little bit. We did drive it a little bit. We tried to, because it was going to go downhill. But I'm like going padded. There's no windscreen. There's a, we're gonna get, <laughs> yeah. Like that geese is blatantly going to call the police. It is ridiculous. No, no Fucking doubt. Fucking hell, man. That was nuts. No. <sighs> that's crazy, man. And the coincidence of someone it's, telling that's you That's what I'm talking about. It's later. the coincidence bit. <laughs> That's nuts. Of A, the new girl. I never met her. She's just a new girlfriend. Like I've met her once. B, years later, I mean, C, she's seen it. Yeah. This one random fucking driven off a cliff fucking nuts thing. And even the coincidence that your mate had exactly the same car as your brother and for her to even think it and then to bring it up at the table when you were there and shit. It's just and crazy. And my dad's like, you're a fucking dick! <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think he had to pay. Big up Kieran as well. Big up Kieran, yeah, because he had to pay Kieran, who's my mate's dad. You had to pay him. I think I had to pay him some money because oh, right, he had yeah. to get it fixed and shit. Oh, man. But, Matt, you just reminded me of something. Talking about coincidences, yeah? I got a story, and you want to talk about coincidence, yeah? I want to talk about coincidence. Bruv. <clears throat> okay. Let me try and remember this now properly. My family are from Syria, yeah? And my dad, his sister was married to this guy and they had three kids. And then all of a sudden, one day, out of the fucking blue, he disappeared. Uh, yeah. Have I told oh, no. you this story? No. 
I might have. T- I no. don't know if I've told you, it, but it's the maddest story. Yeah. No, you haven't. I was thinking about something else. I was thinking about funerals and stuff like that. Okay. This dude just packed a bag and ducked out. He just left. Wait, wait, wait. Who was he? Who was he? My auntie's husband. Yeah. So my dad's sister's right, husband. Okay. Yeah. And they had three kids. Yeah. And he just bopped. And you knew him as well or not? I met him a couple of times. Yeah. When I went, because I used to go to Syria every year. You know, we used to go yeah. and see all the family. I see my dad's side, go see my mum's side. My dad's side. But he's side. not like some distant, distant dude. Like no. you've met him. You've seen him. Met him a couple of times. And just out of the blue, it's not like he wanted a divorce or they wanted to break up or they were having troubles. He just literally disappeared. He packed a bag Whip. and ducked out. Yeah. Ducked. <laughs> Ran away, man, which is really fucked up. What, during the daytime, just one, <laughs> she came home? I don't know the exact there. detail of that, okay? But I just know that he just was there one day and then gone, yeah? <laughs> They're trying to find him. They're like making phone calls. He's disappeared, yeah? <laughs> In Syria. Gone. Or in in Sy- well, whatever. I don't know. He just disappeared. We're trying to find him, call him. He's just gone. Two, and now three years later, maybe it was longer, maybe four years. Four years later, he's still gone. No one's heard from him. We've moved on, whatever. My dad is driving through Elin Broadway. And he looks out the window... <laughs> And he fucking sees him, man. He sees this dude. I can't even remember this guy's name. I think his name was Hatton. In Ealing Broadway. In Ealing Broadway. He disappeared from Syria. When he, he disappeared when he left. from Syria. Apparently, <laughs> he got a job in London and then was living in Norfolk. And he just happened to be in Ealing Broadway when my dad was driving. Oh, we live in Ealing, yeah? So he was driving yeah. fast, looked out the window. The last person he expected to see is this dude. And he was like straight away was like that. Yeah, jumped out, grabbed him, and went, "What the fuck? Where the fuck have you been?" <laughs> Dashed him in the car, brought him back to the house, and just Shit. called called his sister and got. I found him. <laughs> he was just up the road. You know what I mean? Fuck, man! Of all the places he could have gone to run away. He was in Elin Broadway station. Such a beautiful Arab community, though. He had to come. He He had had to to come. come. He had to come. So that's a mad coincidence that of all the places he went, he fucking went to Elin. Anyway, then then they reconnected them over the phone. And then he was like, yeah, I promise. And like, you know, you know, whatever, whatever. And then he disappeared again. Now he does, he doesn't live in London. I mean, we don't know. He might live in London, but he definitely is not coming to Elin Broadway. That's for sure. Um, okay, but he disappeared again. He like he stayed in contact with my auntie for maybe disappeared a week again, and then just he really didn't want to hang with her, man. Did <laughs> like, he not answer just... any questions? Like, where the fuck did you go? <laughs> he just well, said, like, you know, he, he was just a fucking idiot, man. He just, you know, rather than do it the proper way, you know what I mean? He get a divorce, you know, sort the kids out, move away, you know what I mean, and do it properly. He just fucking did a dickhead move. He was just that like that. And he got caught, man. Um, but now he's at large still. <laughs> Fuck it up. Yo, man, it's crazy, man. Yo, I, I got a little bit of a rant as well, man. I just oh, remembered. Yeah. Give us I, a rant. I'll tell you what annoys me, man, on Instagram, is people posting that their posts are being taken down. Or blocked by Instagram. And they're like, oh, look, they're censoring me. They're, censoring. they're not censoring you, motherfucker. It's an automated thing. You plainly wrote a few words that were fucked up. Like, they're you know. They're censoring me. <laughs> and I'm like, they're not fucking censoring you, man. Just be careful how you phrase things. You know what I mean? Because mm. you can't be inciting hatred. You can't be, you know what I mean, calling people's names. You can't, you know what I mean? There's certain restrictions you got to work within, or you can work around them as well. But people like going, oh, look, like they're making a post about it. You know what I mean? Going, look, at their, their censory. I only wrote about this. And look, they, and they, you know, it's the, it's the New World Order. It's the fucking yeah. Illuminati. All it's whatever. And I'm like, fuck off, man. No one's looking at your fucking shitty post. You <laughs> fuck. It's all yeah. automated anyway, you fuck. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Like they like Instagram have got a team of guys looking at every post you make going, nah man, we gotta censor this guy. Fucking Dick, Tom, Dick and Harry and fucking uh, uh All of that shit. You can't you can't even call 
If people look like a dick these days, this is what really fucks me off, yeah? Yeah. When you get on the train and someone just looks like an absolute dick. Yeah. And back in the days, everyone would know that this geezer was a dick. He looked like a fucking flagrant like what? Like dickhead. What? For example, like what? What would be a giveaway for This a... geezer was on like the train with like a long, uh, long leather jacket. Like that <laughs> yeah, fucking that's a film, Matrix, jacket. yeah? With this is it's, this is last week. Like there's no sun. You know, I mean, he's got sunglasses on. Oh my mm. god! You just reminded me of this geezer who lives here. You know, I've moved to this new place. Fuck me. Oh it's right, crazy. yeah. Have you bumped into your neighbours anyway. yet? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I haven't really. I haven't. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. But you can't. You remember like Junction Thirteen or whatever it was at college? Yeah? Oh, Everyone yeah. was a dickhead. You could just go in there and just shout, "You're a fucking dickhead." You could do what you want. <laughs> Nowadays. It's considered like really harsh. It's con- it's overly con- com- compensated for. You can't be so upset for calling people a dick. You, you're not allowed now to go up to someone and just say, "Look, mate, you look like a fucking dick." No, it's, really no, it's never been okay. Off. It's never been okay to do that. No, 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 you, no it is. It's it never is. Been okay it used to be it. okay. I mean, no, we used, used to, be to okay. do it. We used to do it, but it doesn't make it okay, man. <laughs> you just look. Bro. You need to know, bro. Yeah? Stand sitting on the tube like this, and he had like this fucking different coloured stripy socks, but those trousers that finish way before your ankles. Yeah? Oh yeah. All like, everything. But you have pointy shoes. It's That's like they're trying shoes. to make you come up to them. Yeah? <laughs> they're just seeing how much your aggressive defense is. Yeah. You're like, oh god, go and tell him he's a fucking dick. I've got to go. Look, look, he's deliberately making me look. Yeah, he's deliberately, deliberately. I need to go and tell this geezer you look like a fucking dick. But it's not allowed anymore. You can't just, you can't even diss people in the slightest. You cannot diss people anymore. You cannot diss things. If you diss someone for like, if you diss oat milk, if you say the wrong word, like, I drink normal milk. What do you mean you drink normal milk? There's normal milk. There's no normal milk. Yeah. Everything, how what you're saying, my milk's abnormal. You're like, fucking hell. Like, everyone is such. A fucking pussy. It does me in because I have to remember that all the time, mm. all the time. Because I want to talk to people like they're normal, like they're my friends. And at work or in any kind of scenario, you're like, oh, fucking hell, I can't say what I want to say because you can't <laughs> say it. <laughs> but, but in a, I mean, I'm gonna push back. I'm gonna push back a little bit, Steve. Yeah, I'm gonna push back a little bit because I'm listening. It, there are certain aspects of that I think is for the better. You know what I mean? People should be more conscious of what they're talking about. You know what I mean? Don't, you don't want to yeah, exclude but people. Not everyone's stupid. That's, well, the, that's poor, the thing. That's the annoying thing. And that's the other not thing. Not everyone to say. is fucking stupid. And they, you don't have to be like, I don't need anyone on earth to tell me what's harsh to say to someone and what's not, and in what kind of scenario, and in what kind of intent, and in what kind of thing it's about. If it's about something personal, about, you know, you, you, mm. there's boundaries and everything. It's just fucking ridiculous. No, but, but, but theme even this podcast kind of proves my point that you know we've said some outlandish shit on this podcast and like you know most people just show nothing but love you know okay yeah but do you remember when i texted you and i said the best thing i finally realized the best thing about arms house for me is i'm just, I'm just gonna say what i want yeah I'm not saying what I want. And I'm just which saying reminds it. me yeah which reminds me of that time in amsterdam there's so many times in yeah amsterdam. I, I was there 23 times bro you crazy and i stopped because i thought to myself I'll always remember this. It's Michael Jordan. It's 23. This is perfect. Okay. This is perfect. And I think I've been back once since. Because this was like, you know, 10, whatever, 15 years ago. That's mm-hmm. not But uh, I've been back once since, but for like a different sort of thing. <clears throat> Fuck me. My first ever time in Dam is my fucking uh, 16th birthday. <clears throat> yeah. And my dad shuts it down. He's like, you're not gay. Look, all my mates in my room, we've all got the ticket. Rah, rah, rah. Uh, Everyone's going. Yeah. We've rented a whole, like a, what, what's it called? A uh, youth hostel. There's shits so you used to rent, like a mm-hmm. grasshopper in the greenhouse and all that yeah. kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. Never in the grass. The Winston. There was one called the Winston that we used to stay at. I used to always stay at the greenhouse. On Wamoa Strat. Always. And there was a place called Coffee Shop 36 that's closed down now because it got sued by Bodhi. Uh, Mark yeah, Bodie that, and Nimrod yeah, because the, they they had that a, was the branding outside. The branding everything was Vaughan Bodie stuff, and then they got Vaughan Brummer Street or something. Shit, I almost I almost then remembered the fuck. That's like a no, it's next Womoa to Red Strat. Light Street. It was Wilmoa Strat. That's what we used to, they don't say yeah. Wilmoa. Well, whatever. I'm I'm saying it phonetically. <laughs> it's like Wilmoa Strat. Yeah, Wilmoa Strat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Was it Wilmoa Strat? 
That's from yeah. That's where the remember. that's where the greenhouse was. Yeah, that was. That's the where end all there. of those kind of places were. Yeah. Where like eight young English kids in Reebok classics mm-hmm. and fucking Fred Perry jumpers were going. Oh yeah, and there was eight of us in a room. You know, what I mean, four bunk yeah. beds and shit, and like everyone's pouring water and fucking because everyone's like. <laughs> Can't like messing with each other while you're sleeping. So we're going. So we're going out. So, my, oh no, so I'm not allowed to go. My dad's like, "Yeah, you're not going." Yeah. What do you mean? It's my fucking birthday. Bro. He knows. He knows That's what why we're going. He knows. He's like, why. "Yeah, you're not going." Mm. He knows why we're going, and I'm, I'm trying. Do you, do you remember? Have you ever done that, Blake? Do you remember my dad back yeah. in the day about Dan? No, no. There's loads of like culture and pictures. Yeah, I'm going to the Van Gogh <laughs> Everyone Museum. did that. Everyone yeah. did. <laughs> Everyone, yeah, but you just got to say, like, we're going to see the windmills. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All the parents. Well, uh, imagine my kids coming and tell me that. No, Dad, yeah, no, 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 no. Let the windmills down. Windmills, there's like museums there. The there's same like canals. Thing. It's really nice. What are you talking about? Shit. Bro, stop lying to me. You're going to smoke weed, bang hookers. <laughs> no, 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 no. I swear to God. I swear to God. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, but at least you get, people are going there to smoke weed. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, of course, yeah, straight up. He said you're not going. I think I might have had problems with weed, like a, a police thing already. Mm. Like, I mean, to like bring to the house kind of thing. And uh, he's like, "You're not going." How do you say you're not going? How do you say? So they all fucked off. They oh, went. They you... just, they all just went. Yeah, to damn. Oh shit! You didn't go then. Cunts. Fuck. It wasn't allowed. Next day, from the fights with my dad. Mm. He 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 did one of those right. Fuck it, I like, just do what you want. Fuck off. Yeah, yeah. By the end of like a a long time, yeah, you're a cunt. You know what I mean? So and I, and I went fucking Bosch went there. Yeah. What on train or easy jet? Or Told them like the that. next day. Yo, yo, I'm coming now. I'm coming now. And I got the next day. The next day yeah. flew there. Yeah, and uh, and got there. So they've all they've all been chilling there. They were licked. <clears throat> I'm trying to find the place, and it was some. I think it was the fucking greenhouse. But there's like well, the top room, you know. I mean, not the top rooms in quality, but the actual top top room. It's a bit bigger. It's the whole uh, square footage of the of the attic space. Mm. So they're up there. You go up there, and everyone goes fucking mental. Like, <laughs> we go ment- mental. So for the first time ever in Dam, as like kids, we get pissed. Mm-hmm. You should just go, always go in there and just get lean. And like, oh, you, do you know about the, those mango fruities? Maybe I have one of them. Yeah, that's like, don't, you're not, you don't sip a drink of alcohol. No. So we've got licked, absolutely licked. Yeah. And they're like, right, it's your birthday. We're going down to see the, the hookers at Red Light District. You know what I mean? And I'm like, what the f-? So we're going down. Mm-hmm. And there's, you know, there's like eight of us. And we're like, we're 16. I'm 16. Some of them are 15. Some of them are 16. Do you yeah. remember me, bro? I looked about 10. Yeah. Do you remember yeah. that? Like, oh, bro, I look ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah. About seven. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And uh, went to them, yeah? And we get to the first, like, corner of, like, the main strip where all the red light goes down. And not one of the sides, like, the main corner where the canal's going over. We just end up there, bang. Yeah. And there's a bird in the court on the corner in her door there. And I like look at her for like one second. And I was like, Well, you looked at her, you looked at her, that's it, you gotta go back. Said, no, no, no. Go around and round and round this the the red light district, doing all that, you know, looking at look being sixteen year old kids and like looking at like fully grown birds yeah, yeah, <laughs> in yeah. the doorway and shit, loving it shit. And we get back around they get back around there and we split up. We get back around eventually to that same corner, and my mates have uh paid the hooker. And he said, right, when he comes around the corner, he's coming around the corner, he's going in straight in. Mm. And I don't know. And I'm coming, we're going around the corner, going around the corner, going around the corner, get there. And she opens the door and I kind of just like naturally just walk in there. Because <laughs> all of my friends are there like, yeah! And they're all outside screaming. <laughs> typical, guys. typical. Screaming fucking. like this, like, yeah! As I walk in, you know what I mean? Yeah. I walk in and the first thing this woman says to me yeah, is, how old are you? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> do you need to be breastfed <laughs> and I'm like 16, 16 today I'm, like, yeah, well, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm 16 today oh <laughs> 16 you told today. her oh shit she makes me sh- I had my passport on me because I was so because I was a you yeah she makes me show her my passport yeah. damn but I have it on me so I'm like yeah I have it on me and she's like properly studies it to make sure because well, it was yeah, that she day it was my birthday yeah exactly she can't she's like a professional she's been nicked you know, but like, 16, surely 16 is too young. But she doesn't want to bang a kid. Yeah, <laughs> well, obviously. This yeah. was like, this was in the 90s. It was definitely 16. Oh, okay, cool. And um, all like the very early 2000s. 
Mm. And she's like, looks at it, she goes, right, strip off and get on the get on the bed, huh? And all my bridges are outside. No. There's like eight, eight of my bridges outside. I can hear them all the time, hear everything. Yeah? And I'm fucking nervous as dick. Yeah, so I bet. Oh, yeah. But the thing, this is this is the woman. This is uh, this is how I lost my V plates, bruv. Was oh. at this hooker, bruv. Oh, but it wasn't, it wasn't even, it was I don't think I even, I didn't even bang her. I couldn't even bang her. Yeah, I couldn't well, bang her because I was so fucking nervous. Too much I'm stress. Fucking mad stress. Yeah. yeah. And your Never mates even outside had going, sex. Never penetrated anybody. <laughs> She's just a fully grown woman. Like, she was tall and like long hair. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Yo, this woman's a woman. Like, what the <laughs> fuck am I going to do? <laughs> Jesus. Sit on my lips. Sit on the bed. I think I probably kept my boxes on and just sat there. And like she's like she's gone off there to get naked. Comes back, she's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, uh, she's just, you know. yeah. <laughs> "I have to take my pants off in front of this bird." Like I've never even taken my pants off in front of some bird oh, before. You know what I mean? I'm God. shitting my fucking yeah. pants, <laughs> and you're buzzing just, as well. Yeah, <laughs> Matt, but like feeling a bit pissed. And she says. uh Basically, you've got to get a bonus. I can put the condom on here. And I'm like, this is absolutely like that. <laughs> With me, like my Forget six 15 year old body here standing in like, like, like And her like sitting there, I'm like, this, what am I supposed to do? Like, I can't like toss it off in front of, oh <laughs> my God. In front of this woman. I'm thinking, what disgusting. The fuck I do? <laughs> and they're all shouting outside of what to do and where, you know, all that kind of shit. And she's like, your mate's outside. She brings it up. I'm like, yeah, uh -huh. I can't get a bonus. Yeah? But like, there's no way I'm getting a bone here. And I remember lying so now, I'm, now I'm lying on the bed and the side of the bed, which was the wall, was mirrors. Mm. Yeah? And I'm looking. So I'm completely naked. I've got my socks on and I'm looking I'm looking at my immature, adolescent, like nothingness. Yeah. Just observing like what am I doing like here? Like I don't know what. And then I looked at her and I was a fully grown woman. Like, just like yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a woman. You know what I mean? Like, Oh, no. And I said, "Oh, maybe you can, like, you know, like toss me off." You know what I mean? She goes, "I get like a pair of tweezers and just sit there like this." And I remember lying, <laughs> lying next to the glass, just looking at this bird, like going like this, like, "What the fuck?" Like, she was feeling uneasy. Do you know what I mean? She was like, "What the fuck's going on?" And I'm looking at her in the mirror, just tossing off my little peck, and I'm going, oh, "This is this." Oh is, my this days! Is... And so she was thinking in her head. She was thinking. <laughs> she was thinking, I'm bringing nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm maybe. bringing nonsense. Yeah, maybe. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. I can't even remember if I ejaculate or not. I can't, I can't remember shit. <laughs> but I'm not. I remember that my, everyone's outside. Hmm. Yeah. And they're on like a kind of football, it's kind of like a football team one. Did you blag it then when you came out? Did you be like, Wee, yeah, I did it? No, no, no. Nah. Bro, I don't know what's going on when I come. I have to like go over their head. Put my trousers on in front of this woman, like absolutely shit. Do, 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 do I just go outside? Do I just like walk outside? Do you know what I mean, I don't know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> All of my brethren there have been stopping anyone. This is like on a Friday, Saturday night. Yeah. Anyone who's bothered to take any interest there, yeah, they've stopped and said, This is what my friend's doing in there. It's his birthday. We've paid for him to get in. We've paid, his base has been pushed in. Rare, 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 yeah. rare, rare. He's, he's, he'll be coming out soon. He'll be coming out soon. Obviously, some people have boiled that off. Obviously, some people, like English people, have stayed there, like watch, having their pint. Yeah, well, they're all in the zoo, standing tall. outside, waiting for him to come out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but I saw that so much in Amsterdam. You see it all the time: a group of English lads outside going wee wee, and then their mate comes out and they go wee, you know. Yeah, and I, yeah, when I came outside, there's bare people I don't know, like old men. You know, I mean, like geezers I've never met. I remember this old bald-headed geezer, like. Balding, like Arabic dude, balding Arabic dude, <laughs> Turkish or something, walking by, and all of the, like, the whole canal police just screaming up in front of the place. <laughs> Fucking oh, hell. Did they and all then, lift you up on their shoulders like that? And like. Forgetting <laughs> a tiny little uh, happy ending. <laughs> yeah. I bet you, I bet you I told them that I banged her. I was like, I bet I banged her. Yeah. She had the best sex of her life. I'm telling you. <laughs> exactly. This bird won't be able to walk for two weeks. All right, yeah. She's going to have to quit now, man. You know. I bet that. I gave it the large, man. That's how I lost my V plates, bruv. Wow, because they, they all thought I banged her. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow, man. Oh, man. That's, that's hilarious, man. That was fucking, fucking awful. awful. But the stress. That like, was fucking awful. Yeah. And I, <laughs> yeah. you know what? You reminded me as well of a Brazil story, man. 
um, big up Brazil every time. It's been a big while. Brazil every time. No, but because I was teaching English there and, and I was mainly doing conversational classes. So you'd sit with a student, you know, two, three times a week for an hour. Sit with some sexy Brazilian lady Sometimes. face to face. I can see where this is going. I can see where no, it's no, going. No, 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 you can't. One of my main jobs was this big uh, office building, yeah, where people, they had, it was like a gas or natural gas company or something like that. And they used to do a lot of deals with people in Europe and it was all in English. So they all knew English and they spoke English perfectly well, but they just wanted someone to have a conversation with each week to like kind of just stay on top of things, you know, and maybe correct things if they got questions. You bagged them all. You bagged them all. They were mostly men. They were mostly men. Ah! So I had a few female ones, but... Um, Little hand shandy. Little hand shandy. But listen, so I had to come up with conversational topics. You know, that was part of my job. Like, you know, uh, to sit there and like bring up topics. Like, you know, we'd talk about songs and we'd talk about... Um, you know, all sorts of stuff. Uh, I, I, again, I'd have to like bring up the topic, you know what I mean? And uh, You'd have to make the lesson. And one of the topics eventually, because I got to know these people, like, you know, I was teaching them for a year, a year and a bit, you know, a couple of hours a week. So I got really close and friendly with these people. And so we'd talk about all sorts of shit, yeah. And then uh, eventually the topic would come to losing your virginity, yeah. And I found out in Brazil, it's standard procedure. Once you turn 16, either your older brother or your dad... <laughs> Takes you to a prosy. Yeah, yeah gets, gets you okay. it out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just. Now you man. Yeah, now, now you, you are a man. man. <laughs> exactly. So that's just standard practice out there. That's what, what happens. That um, is what happens. And I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't know the, the, the psychological impact of that. I'm sure it's not healthy, man, but. Also, in a way, like you think about your That's first time. That's not for time. the whole of Brazil, obviously. Ob- obviously, I'm generalizing. But from all the people I spoke, they were like, kind of like, it's normal here. That's what kind of happens. You know what I mean? Once you turn 16, like I said, your older brother or your dad will take you to a, a thing That's and just it. like knock That's it out. That's what it's like. Um, in Colombia, man, the best jobs for a young girl to get is prostitution or a partner of a drug dealer. <laughs> well, yeah. if they if yeah, they if they're coming from that part of colombia where they've got nothing no exactly. because you can pay for your family you pay for this and obviously the drug deal is dangerous and the prostitution is dangerous they're both dangerous <clears throat> yeah both, but they're the best like in the favelas in the in the normal for the normal working class people that's their, the best their aspirations that your their... daughter can get because yeah. then she's bringing in bed yeah. like not bed she's bringing in dope to the house yes yeah, so... even if she's a narco partner it's a fucked up state of affairs, man. What can I say? But listen, this is depressing now, man. Let's listen to your tune and we'll do a bit of... Uh... Oh, but don't look back. Don't look back. Don't look back in anger. Could be construed as a as a depressing tune. It's not a depressing tune. Okay, this is John Lee Hooker. But the thing is, Van it's quite Morrison. long. You need to hear Van Morrison and John Lee kind of singing to each other. Don't look back, don't look back. Like, fuck you. Well, let's get into it, man. Let's get into it, man. I'm going to pour a myself a drink. sensational tune. All right. Get yourself a goddamn drink. And then we'll do some graffiti critique. Alright, this chip. Don't look back. Some of the lyrics in this book. You can just imagine John Lee Hooker playing this. Yeah. Sitting on a dock. Don't look back. Mm. Or a day. Listen to him, man. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's no good. It's no good to look back. I know. So many people oh, trying to live on. I know so many people no trying to live on in the past. If I could call, yeah. that's what the arms house is. Back to day, oh, yeah, to yeah, yeah, to yeah. I never, never be poor. Stop dreaming, stop dreaming. And 
live on the bone for the future. Live on for the future. No good, no good. No, 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 no. It ain't, it ain't no good. Live on. For the future. And not the past. Keep it, keep it, let it play. Yeah. My brother Talal loves Johnny Lee Hooker, man. Plays him all the time. No, no, no. No, no. Uh, I don't think you've got the version I sent you. It's got Van Morrison on it. Yeah, yeah, featuring Van Morrison, yeah. No, no. Ah, there we go. Adi, Adi. No, 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 no. We're gonna live. We're gonna live. The future. Not the future. Sing to each other, man. No. Oh, they're gone, 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 gone. There ain't no good. No good. Mm -mm. You gotta stop, stop all your, all your dreams. Yeah. And live on for the future. Baby, don't, baby, don't look back. Don't look back, don't look back, don't look back, don't look back. No, 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 Charlie. No, 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 no. Stop dreaming, stop dreaming, and live on, live on. The future, not the past, not the past. No good, no good. But those days. Definitely a different version. Oh, yeah. I think this is a remastered Dodi, I don't know. There's a lot more back and forth on the, the version that I've got. Stop dreaming. Stop dreaming, buddy. Halas, 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 halas. Halas. Ah, my Arabic getting me through. That's that's a beautiful, beautiful song. song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should bring that back. We were talking about that. I should teach you Arabic words, you yeah. know, a new one each week. Yeah. And then you have to apply it in the next episode. You have to use it somehow. Yeah. I'm so we've bang done, up for that, bro. We've done khalas. We've done... Adi. No, khalas I learned today. Ah, okay. Khalas means, yeah, finish. Stop. Yeah, finish, finish. And adi means normal, you know. Uh, okay, Khalas is the one, and you've used it, so that's good. But I should teach you a new one. Uh, fuck, because you didn't teach me Khalas. No. Someone else taught me Khalas today. Ah, Imshi. 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 That means move, bruv. <laughs> imshi, move. Oh, really? Yeah. Imshi. Imshi, Imshi. Well, imshi. I will boss you up. You say yella Imshi, that means just get the hell out of here, man, move. You know oh, I mean? really? Yeah. So, yellow imshi means to them they move. Yeah, you just yellow imshi. Not listen to that like, shit. Get, get on with it. Move. You know what I mean? Go. You know? So, uh, you... imshi literally course, means course, walk. You walk. Imshi. Imshi. But, imshi. but when you say imshi, imshi, imshi it's imshi. like yellow, move, like go. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, there we go. Imshi. Yeah. Try and remember that one. Uh, imshi. Next... I'm writing it down. Yeah. So, remember that for next episode. And talking about, like, I did mention but it. Wait. Oh, sorry. What's, what are my uh, Arabic words? Khalas, Imshi, and Adi. No, there's Yella. Yella as well, yeah, Yella. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Shukram. 
Shukran, thank you. You told me shukran. Yeah. Oh, yo, shall I teach you the worst swear word you can ever say to someone? Like the worst insult you could do. Maybe. Yeah. yeah? Maybe. I'm going to say. I try it. to be a nice guy. I know, but it's I fun to like learn it. swear words, man. This one, I'm telling you now, don't just say it to Arabic. If you meet an Arabic person, go, oh, yeah, and just say this to them, they'll get offended. So be wary of who you say it to, yeah? I'll tell you the whole thing, but then I'm going to teach you a way to remember it, yeah? Mm-hmm. So, yin an din rab abuk ars, yeah? Yeah, well, that's a lot of words. I know, but what you got to remember is, let's say there's two Japanese guys, yeah? One's called yin. And one's called Dean. <laughs> yeah? The one's called Dean? Dean. So you go, oh, no, oh no, look, Dino. you put a peace sign, that's when the balloons come up. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah. Yin? Okay, I just realized that. Yin and Dean rub a book on their arse. So that's what you got to remember. Yin and Dean rub a book arse. Yeah. That's rub the... a book? Arse. Ass, ass. Yeah, like so, a Scottish ah. man saying ass. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> ass, ass. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yin and Dean rub a book ass. Do you know what it means? No. It basically means fuck your father's religion and everything he believes. And then ass yeah, is like just it. a way of saying times a hundred. So really? it's, yeah, and, I and, like it a lot. And the thing is, in Arabic, when you diss your dad's religion, that means you're dissing your whole family because the dad is the, the head of the family, family and then fun. you know, so whatever he believes and trickles down. Fire upon all of them. <laughs> yeah, everybody. This is amazing. So Yin and Din Rab Yin and Din. You have to do the Rab Abuk. You don't have to roll the R. Yin and Din Rab Abuk. Ars. 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 It's more ass, not ass. I wrote ass. No, I need to write ars. ass. Yeah. I need to write ass. Yeah, so there you go. And you can use it at home, people, but please use it wisely. (laughs) There you go. That was perfect. Jesus Christ. That was perfect, man. All right, let's do a quick graph critique. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's have a bit of critique, bruv. Uh, Let me send you this one. I'm just going to, bruv, I'm in the kitchen. I'm going to have a little look around to see if there's any munch. All right, well, don't munch oh, now. Man. No, theme, don't munch the now. Kitchen. We're in almost done. We're almost done. Just sit down. Yeah, I've just sent you one. Send me the two. I've sent it. Someone sent this in. I think this is an Ireland. Yeah. WhatsApp team, yeah. WhatsApp team, yeah. What's an that? Ireland. This is a man. It hasn't come through. My memory. Isn't it? Oh, there we go. Okay, no. now it's sent. There we go. Sorry. There we go. Um, he sent this in. He said, have at it. I think it says dog or Daz. No, it must be dog. D- That's an L R. at the end. That's an R and then an L. Oh, no, no. It says dogs. No, Daz. D A R Z by the look Is that of it. Z at the end? I don't know, man. It's got to be an L, bruv. Or an L, maybe. Oh. But look at the tag on the left be a side. U, Daru. Oh, no. The, it says dr- on the left. Oh, mate. Maybe he's just misspelled his name rather than writing. He doesn't want to be bait. So he mashed the Uh, letters. One of them ones. By the looks of it. How dumb are we, bruv? Yeah, I don't want to bait him up too much. But he did send it in. He said, yo, check it out. It's 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 on a train. For the people listening, he sent a a piece on a train. It's a piece as well. Nice. Exactly. It's a piece on a train. Colorful piece. Dark blue outline with a shadow. It's got like a pinks and purple and, and orange and yellow in the three in in the scheme it's got green one time with like bubbles going around it he's put some i mean you can see it's it's on a train so he's not taking his time he's done it quite quickly yeah, it's quite it's rough around the edges business. all fat cat business yeah. but i i like it it's got some nice styles to it it's got isms hanging off the edges i like the letters the bounce and the flow it's almost top to bottom it's quite one of those quite big trains as well so you probably you know it's probably quite difficult you can see at the top of the piece where he's flared it out because he can barely reach the top and he's just reached the top of the windows i hate that i like it what do you think yeah i don't hate that i hate what you're saying what? You can't reach the fucking top and you can't fucking see if the fucking light's on. You're like, fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, it is. Just but I kind of like that when, when things flare up at the top. I think it, it can be done well and it can look stylish. I and like he's the, pulled I it like off. The, uh, I like 
Graph on trains in it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It does I look like ten times on better on I a like train. It when they come off like a little bit, if even if it comes off a little bit, mm. then I give it more props because I'm like, yo, you know what I mean? No, the dude. And this one, he's pulled it off a little bit, so I'm like, yo, it's absolutely fucking sweet. It's definitely not his first uh, train. You can tell that. No, nah. no. Nah. Yeah, nah, exactly. And uh, I like a four letter breach. Big mm. fan of that. <laughs> yeah, big fan of that. And uh, what else I was going to say about it? Sorry that we didn't get it right straight away. Yeah, it's Sorry all good, that man. We didn't clock straight away. It's really nice. I, I like it a lot, man. And 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 kind of it, the style kind of suits the train. Like, I could just imagine it moving. And the yeah, it's letters. It's not my type of, of letters. Yeah, they're a bit funky, you know but I don't I'm mind saying? them. I don't mind them. I like them. I just want people to do those big, fat dubs like the dubs we were looking at earlier mm. criminal damage dub or a big sub dub just like crisp in fucking plastic coat blue yeah and fucking i just want to see that man mm. so much it's wicked doing a piece on the train don't get me wrong it's sick mm-hmm. but i want to see man those kind of dubs ganja yeah. dubs fat dubs Look at look at back Can at you this. imagine how good Vizzo would be now if he's still doing great. Oh yeah, but I, I reckon because he was quite an experimental guy, man. Even back then, before he passed too way too early, man. So rest in peace, Vizzo, no doubt. But he was quite experimental back then. He was doing quite funky styles and doing like more. Art but everyone knew he was things. the nuts. He was the nuts, man. The dude. Put everyone in work. knew he was the nuts back then. Yeah, <clears throat> and. Um, I don't know. I reckon doing, now he might be painting he weird abstract oh, shit. Maybe. I don't know. Like he could have gone in that direction. It's you know, be weird like Mo Two. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Mo Two is weird. I love Mo Two, but yeah, anyway. Yeah. So, um, but I know what you're saying. War and peace comments yeah, on Instagram. Yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> exactly. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right, let's do one more. Um, yeah, big up, through, big man. up, my man, dog or 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 dr- dr- respect. But it wasn't dry. I think you should bleed that out. What? what which bit? Uh, I say you, you, <laughs> you saying. Oh, do you know what it is? He actually paints trains because he's done the words like the other the wrong yeah, way around, okay. so we can't say it. I'll cut <laughs> that, that bit. Out. I'll cut that, it. Out. That kind of shit. No, but now you should leave this bit. This bit. Yeah, <laughs> this bit I'll leave in. All right, I just sent you something, man. You just sent me the blood clot thing. Yeah. It dropped me out, bruv. <laughs> What's your first impression? Well, Describe it to the people listening. What, what can you see? Blimey. <laughs> I can see a fleshy coloured. Like it does remind me of some old man's gonads kind of fleshy coloured. <laughs> yeah. If one is kind of trying to be... Man, this is impossible to describe. This is so whack, yeah? That we are not of the same blood group. Oh. I cannot read this kind of fucking mess. I don't even know what it says. Someone's done a throw up over someone else's dub, which also looks shit, which looks like it could be his. Look at that chrome behind <laughs> with the B, and the, look at the... Man, it looks like it could be his. Yeah? But the... It's, bruv, it says FWB, people... It's painted in brown. It's got orange dripping down from it. And on top of the orange, it's got blue dripping down on top of mm-hmm. that. But that orange and blue is way too high. It doesn't drip down enough or anything. The rest of it is just like this flesh color thing. Yeah? Mm-hmm. FWB, maybe it's a crew. Big up to them, yeah? Forever wanking buffaloes. <laughs> but what, what, was what else do you want to do? the zebra one from before? No, we can't. We can't talk about <laughs> oh, that yeah, because it turned out them men f- 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 were from Hackney and <laughs> they were going to bust us up. Oh yeah, it was R Z. Yeah, yeah, Ray, Ray Bing Zebra Crew. Yeah, now respect that. Who was it? Someone got in touch and said, "Oi, yeah, it was a jobs." Oh, yeah, we didn't know jobs. Yeah, we didn't know. We didn't know. <laughs> so this was done in 2023. You can see he wrote that. For me, man, it's a throw up, but he's really filled it in properly Yo, and like he's outlined gone over it, himself. Outlined it properly, you know what I mean, and did Don't it one think? time. I mean, as he's in, like, over himself. he's filled that it chrome, in as if Look he... at the chrome behind it. Yeah. He's gone over himself. Look you at reckon... the B of the chrome. It's exactly the same as his B. It's true. Yeah, that, it's the <clears> same <throat> shape. And the yeah. F bit. <laughs> it's the same shape. He's upgraded from a dub now to, like, a, a pieced out throw up. 
Listen, it's wow. it, it is really whack. I mean, it's 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 uh. Let me say what's good about it first. It's it's proportional. What do you mean? You know what I mean? It's and it's on a brick wall, you know what I mean? I don't know if that's a Hall of Fame, maybe that's out there somewhere, maybe it's a track side, I don't know. Well, that could be a little track side thing, I think. Um so props for him on that. But yeah, like just the like the the like cat diarrhea brown he's used, yeah, and then the orange and the blue just uh-uh, no way. The FW unless he's isn't, racked it. Unless he's racked it. Unless he's racked it. Okay. And then the FW isn't even that bad. It's just the way it goes into the B and the way the B just bulbs out like that. Like it's like a like, you know, one of them dudes is, is like his belly flops over his belt. You know, it's kind of like that type mm. of shape. I'm just not mm. into that at all, man. Um what does FWB stand for, bro? Let's have a couple of those. Well, like you said, what did you say? Forever wanking. Forever wanking. Fingering white bitches. Fingering white bitches. Uh, why? What's wrong with fingering brown bitches? I'm just kidding. Well, um, not, it's not FBB, bro. It's not yeah, FBB. FWB. Um, I used to have a crew FW, which was Forever West Side. FWB. Forever. But Forever. Forever West Side, so bitches. Fasting when bloated. Fasting when bloated. Fasting when bloated. That's a good one. That's it, man. Uh, I'm munching you. Fuck, I can't think of one now. Just off the spur, at a moment, off the top of my head. Uh, <laughs> fixing. Oi, so listen up, people, anyway, man. We've got some Coolio guests coming on. We're resurrecting Coolio and bringing him on to the podcast. Okay. That's going to be an amazing one. Yeah. Now listen, theme, I have to mention it because I did mention it last episode. I said we were going to have Bando on this week and he flopped. So hopefully you still happen, but let's just see how it goes. We had everything planned. We got everything ready. We can't do anything. You know, we can't, we can't speak French. But what can we do? I should stop really announcing guests before they come on, because you know, fucking no, man. I should just stop saying it at all, man. Because we got crazy yeah. ones that people have said, yeah, but I'm just not going to talk about it anymore until it happens. Fuck it. Yeah, it's a good shot. You know what I mean? These motherfucking dudes. But that's some West Coast shit. Huh? That's West Coast shit, bruv. You know what I mean? That's the time difference. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mother lovers waking up having pancakes, chicken and waffles on Sunday morning, like one, two o'clock in the afternoon. (laughs) I'll be having chicken and waffles, baby. No, exactly. But anyway, man, all good, brother, man. Let's call it a day there. Um, episode 64, is Episode it? Yes. 64, five away from 69, when your mother and nanny and grandma will give it mine. Yeah, man. Thank you guys <laughs> for tuning up. in. Uh, please, you know, leave a like and a comment here on the YouTube. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, leave us a little five-star rating. Just do it now. It'll only take you a couple seconds. It's really appreciated. It just helps push us higher up in the algorithm so more people can check it out. Other than that, I'm out, sir. I'm out. I'm, I'm out on the note that I was going to buy 7,000 high coats for the listeners and give it away as a giveaway, but Maddie said no. But we're out. Episode yeah. 64, baby. <laughs> Yo. Do you think I need to go and paint that yellow BR, bruv?